Okay, how's it going guys? We're back in Windows here as you can see. All good to go. I ran all the benchmarks again. Uh, got a nice little improvement. You, you can even feel the difference at 4.2 being honest. Uh, it'll probably be the same at 4 gigahertz because most of the difference is we changed the host clock a little bit. That uh, gives it a nice little boost. Um, for those of you guys that wanted to stay at 4.2, keep in mind that you should walk down your voltages, you know, go down one or two and then see if you can go into Windows. If you can, go down one or two and see if you can go into Windows. Until you can't go into Windows, then go up two. Then you should be able to go into Windows and then do your Prime 95 testing for a couple of hours. That way you have a nice little like your voltages are down where they should be and everything else uh, as you can see the 3d benchmark your 3d mark vantage uh, benchmark went up a little bit uh, <coughs> so that's a nice little jump anyway it's not extreme or anything like that but uh, same with the overdrive one, went up a little bit. It's not bad. Not bad for 4.2 anyway. I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, so yeah, like I said before, just keep in mind to keep an eye on your temperature somehow. Like I said, it doesn't hurt to uh, use overdrive for that. Um, if you want to learn how to use overdrive to overclock with, I'll show you how in another video. I'm also going to show you how do you uh, try and get the best um, CPU from bus that you can, <coughs> or your HT clock, I should say. But uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, as you can see, overdrive kind of screws up with some things too. Like this is supposed to be here, you know. You gotta kind of keep your eye on it, type thing. But uh, like I said, for temperatures, stuff like that, it's good. Nothing wrong with it. Um, what else? That's pretty much all I can think of at the moment. Uh, same with uh, this one. This one's obviously made for watching temperatures and things like that. It shows you everything's temperature, actually comes in handy sometimes um so yeah if you guys want to tune into my next couple of videos i'm going to show you how to overclock while well, reach the max with your uh front bus and everything else um your multiplier all that uh, see how far you can push it type thing but other than that, you guys can run this if you have a good cooler, 24-7 if you want. Just like I said about the other one, make sure you bring down your voltages and then check it with Prime 95. Uh, my computer has no problem running this, so I know that. With a lot less voltage too, so that's why I'm saying make sure you check it. Uh, That's about it, guys. I'll uh, see you in the next vid if you want to comment. Like I said, this is, well, I'm not sure if I said this, but it's my first overclocking tutorial in a sense, so try to be nice. But if I forget something, by all means, let me know. If I did something wrong, let me know. Um, I am going to uh, show you guys other voltages you can change to make sure you can get a higher frequency, like, you know, you're gigahertz can get higher your front bus can go higher i'm going to show you how to, how to guys how to change all those voltages in my next video uh, which may get done today depending on times you know somebody stops by i might not be able to uh, it all depends but uh, i'm going to try and do it today so if you see this check it might be there uh, if you want to subscribe, by all means, go ahead. There are a few other videos I've done some about uh, 
Origin. I just updated that one recently. Put some new links in there uh, because everybody always loves having Origin screw up on you when you're about to go gaming. You know, they, they introduce a nice little update and bam, your computer won't do it. But there's a solution there. It might not work for everybody. Works for some people. Check it out. Uh, other than that, guys, have a good one. See you in the next bit. Hi, guys. Uh, just want to make sure this works. Yeah, okay. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out is that um, my scores might be higher than yours because uh, my graphics card does physics too so keep in mind that my scores might be fairly well a fair bit higher than yours so that also may be the reason why so also keep that in mind just wanted to let you guys know that uh, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said before, uh, subscribe if you want. Uh, just wanted to make sure you guys knew that, uh, because my scores are probably quite a bit different than some of yours. Uh, so don't freak out or anything thinking you got a bad chip or something. Uh, I'll put my, uh, system specs in the description, but, uh, other than that, have a good one, guys. I think I'm actually done this time. Uh, bye.